Good morning guys, as I mentioned yesterday, today it's also all about room acoustics and how to measure your room, but to do so I first have to get to the studio. Until we know who we are. Quick change of plans, there was a car blocking the tram, it couldn't pass, so walking to the studio and instead of spending my money for the tram, I bought some snacks for breakfast. As you might remember from yesterday, the topic of room acoustics is super complex. So before spending any money on absorbers or diffusers, you should really know what you're doing. And the only way to know that is by getting a measurement microphone and measuring your room. So all you need is a measurement microphone. This one is the ECM 8000 from Beringer. It's less than 100 euros. You will also need you will also need a stand for it to stand still and a special software that I will show you now. This right here is the RoomEQ Wizard software. You can download it for free. I won't tell you how to set it up. It's quite complicated and it depends on the system that you're using. But there are already a ton of tutorials out there. You basically just put your microphone at your sweet spot and then you run the software. It will play a sweep sound or a white noise sound that will be picked up by the measurement microphone and the software is then comparing the internal sound versus the one you recorded in your room and the difference of those two will be shown in a graph and that is basically what your room is doing to the sound and believe me, this can be quite a lot. I don't really have the time to do one of these measurements right now, but let me still show you a screenshot of one of these graphs just to give you an idea what the software is doing. This is a very typical graph for a small room. You can see that the top frequencies are quite all right, although you still have here dips in between of 10 dBs, which is quite a lot. But the big part that's making a lot of trouble is the low end between 90 Hz and 60 Hz you have a difference of 25 dBs. If you've ever tried to mix kick and bass you sometimes make changes that are like 0.5 dBs, 1 dB, 2 dB that already feels like quite a lot but as you can see in this graph and this is really a typical graph your room is making up a difference of 25 dBs so no matter how experienced you are, how, no matter how skilled you are you will have a lot of trouble in an untreated room to get the low end right. That's also the main reason why the tracks that you guys sent me are usually all fine in the top frequencies and always have the problems in the low end. It is just that the wavelengths of the low end are way longer so they're building way more up in a room and causing more trouble. These frequency buildups in rectangular rooms are called room modes. I will show you how to calculate them without a measurement microphone but first I need to get some work done on this new track that I'm working on. I don't wanna fall again. Please stop the time. Back from lunch, let's continue with the topic. You can calculate these room modes very easily online. I will show you a website. This is Amrock, the room mode calculator. You can just put in here your room dimensions and this graph will show you the frequencies that are causing trouble. What I really love are these two graphs. The first one is showing you a model of your room and the red parts are the ones where a lot of um, frequencies build up. The second one shows you the bold area and an X that shows you if your room dimensions are good and within this area where you have less trouble with room modes. As you can see my example is a bit outside of this area but this will be the case for most rooms. It also shows you the volume of your room, the surface. You can put in here a reverb time that you'd like to achieve. 0.6 seconds is kind of the standard. It also shows you here how much absorption you actually will need for your room. At the bottom you have a list with all of the frequencies, the notes that belong to those frequencies and how much trouble they're doing in which axis. Absorption is really the best way to get a linear frequency response at your sweet spot. I've put so much absorption into this room that I have plus minus 3 to 5 dBs over the entire frequency range, which is really as good as it gets. I have absorption in the corners, that's also the main reason why the speakers can stand so close. I have this entire wall of absorption 
the other corner is also absorbing material this is also all absorbing material here in the back corner it also absorption the entire back wall is almost half a meter just absorption here is absorption and the entire ceiling is just full with absorption this room is actually more than half a meter higher so with all of the absorbing material around me i can really hear the direct sound from the speakers the frequencies don't bounce around anymore they just hit the absorbing material and get transferred into heat there is just one thing i'd like to change and that is installing diffusers onto the back wall but i don't have the money to buy them or the time to build them so it's a project for the future and now it's really time to continue working i really have to finish this track within the next two to three hours which shouldn't be a problem and then i'm invited to a really nice party i'm already looking forward to all done with work I will continue tomorrow with the room acoustic topic today we talked about how to find out the mistakes and measure your room tomorrow it will be all about how to correct them and on a quick side note the project that I'm working on right now is really just the biggest pain in the ass ever it's super annoying I'm working with people together that don't have a clue about making music I hope they won't watch this video, but it's very unlikely. It almost feels like doing ghost productions for other DJs all over again, which I really hated, but the project is now all done. It just took quite a bit longer than expected. It's now almost one. So going to the party I was actually planning to um, won't probably happen. I'm a bit tired. I'm now here in the studio for 14 hours 15 hours something like that so it's really enough guess what i had to change one or two more things it's now 120 that's just the way it is when you're self-employed at least vanessa is not done with the wedding she was invited to so she's picking me up and we're heading back home together and how was the wedding how much did you drink what? No booze? No booze.